Today, protesters gathered outside of the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, or APAC, were dragged out by police after attempting to get in. They assembled in order to protest America's support for Israel, which they see as unfairly treating Palestinians and Iran. Five of the protesters were arrested for blocking the entrance after they were kept out. Israel is an apartheid state! One, two, three, four! Occupation, no more! Code Pink, a women's organization committed to ending wars abroad, led the rally. Its founder, Medea Benjamin, told News to Share that APAC doesn't represent her or the philosophy of peace. I'm a Jew who doesn't believe that, is, that APAC speaks for me. I'm also a U.S. taxpayer that doesn't like that $3 billion of our tax money goes to support the Israeli military to commit uh, crimes against the Palestinians. And I'm also here as a mother, a grandmother, and a humanist who wants to see peace in the world. And unfortunately, I think APAC leads us into a path of trying to sabotage negotiations with Iran that would lead to a peaceful solution, and also has kept the U.S. from uh, being a, an honest broker to try to see some real peace between the Palestinians and the Israelis. APAC has played an exceptional role in controlling U.S. foreign policy, especially when it comes to Iran. Uh, we see that President Obama has been trying to broker nuclear negotiations with Iran, and the negotiations are actually working. But APAC and the government of Israel are both pushing for more sanctions, an end to diplomacy, and the path towards war. And, you know, uh, Americans can't afford another war. We don't want another war. Uh, and so we're also out here because APEC continues to push for the occupation of Palestine, uh, the brutal siege of Gaza. Uh, APEC supported the horrible genocide in Gaza in the summer of 2014. And so, you know, as an activist, I think more than ever, it's important to challenge APEC's influence in, in Washington, D.C., and to show our strength in numbers out here today. Ford Fisher, News to Share, Washington, D.C.